I just want to talk. The first thing I want to say is I should have punished Max a lot more than I did. Well, I should call the newspaper. George Lopez admits he's wrong. Be the adult, be the adult. <laughs> Look, maybe I went easier on Max because I know why he peeped. I mean, I was a boy. I get that. But I don't get you anymore. I did when you were a little girl because you were just like a little boy, except you never got caught in your zipper. <laughs> well, I'm not a little boy or a little girl anymore. I'd like some privacy and I'd like some respect. That's fair. And I'd like my feelings listened to. Ew, that's a tough one. <laughs> Why? Because everything's a crisis with you. There are no small problems. I'm on overload, Carmen. And I thought teenagers were supposed to lock themselves in their rooms and never talk to their parents. I was kind of looking forward to that. Well, I'm sorry I tell you all my problems. No, you shouldn't be. I need to get better at this. Look, I promise to start listening to your feelings if you promise not to have so many of them. Deal. And don't ever think I love Max more than I love you. Because that's not right. Okay. We are crying. So happy. I got you this cell phone to make up for everything. Stop crying. Oh my God, it's a cell phone. <laughs> hey, what are you looking at? We're feeling in here. Go, man, the light's green. <laughs> How'd it go? It went great. So, what are you wearing? Show! <laughs> George, I don't want you to talk like that with Carmen in the car. All right, we'll be home in a little bit. Hey, make sure you lock up. I heard on the radio there's a guy breaking into people's houses. <laughs> Is he in our area? Yeah. Ah! What's wrong? You look like you've been crying. Yeah, because I missed you so much. Oh, you're such a good liar. 